everyone. Today I'm gonna to take you through the RV fresh water system, the really down and dirty system. So I'm gonna take you through the city water connection. I'm also gonna show you how the fresh water tank works and all the plumbing pipes and everything that's inside the RV as far as the fresh water, uh, hot and cold. So stick around, hopefully you learned something I did. Since the plumbing is behind these drawers, I'll take these drawers out first. Okay, so you see that hose comes right through and goes right down into the underneath of my carriage. So I'm gonna have to follow that line from underneath my carriage and I believe it goes straight through to the other side of my RV and I'll show you how that's routed. Also, take pictures as you're down here. This is my outdoor shower. We'll get to that in a little bit. But um, as you're going through, you're gonna see some electrical cables. You're gonna see all sorts of different stuff. So you'll get really familiar with your RV. So this is the bottom of my RV and the plumbing goes actually in between my floor and the bottom of the RV. And then it will come up inside this compartment right here. So this is the outdoor compartment. And then behind this door is going to be my filter, my charcoal filter and my water pump. But since you can't see this hose, I'm gonna take all this apart so you can see where these hoses actually go. Okay, so you can see in this picture that the orange power wire comes through the same area that this blue plumbing hose comes through. So basically what I'm assuming is they change the white hose in the picture to this blue hose out here. And as I said, this is in between my floor and the bottom of my RV. So that blue pipe comes right here and it goes to this T branch right here. So this T area is where the pump comes in, but I'm gonna cover that next, okay? So this is being provided by the city water connection and it's just coming through here. This is powered pressured water. It's gonna go through my charcoal filter and it's gonna continue on to the plumbing for the rest of the RV. And I'll show you how that all works. Next, we're gonna talk about the pump and where it gets its water from. So on the passenger side of my vehicle, I have the water tank fill area, and basically it's the fresh water tank. Here's where you put the water in, and as you can see, there's barely any fall right here. Usually you want a nice fall so the water goes directly into the tank. Sometimes when I'm filling the tanks, it's the water uh, hose goes straight in, water comes out. Also, if water comes out of here, this is your vent line, and I'll show you what that looks like. But it's fine if you fill up your tank, what this does is allows air to come out of your tank as you know as you're putting water and air into the tank so water if water ever comes out of that that means you're full or if it comes out of here all right so my water tank is underneath my bed so what i have to do now is lift my bed and then i can show you what it looks like okay so that's what my bed looks like lifted up so it's always a little sketchy going underneath here but i'll try not to put my head in under there pretty nice uh, because it's center lined in with my RV. It's a little back, bit on the back side of my RV, which isn't too great, but you know, gotta do what we gotta do. So these little red things right here are the water sensors, one third, two thirds, you know, full. So I'm at one third water uh, full right now. And you can see I'm just a teeny bit off level, but this is that pipe uh, that came from the outside. So this goes in and it feels at the top water comes in, and then this right here is your vent line. So as water's going into your tank, it's filling and filling and filling, and it's putting pressure on that. So the pressure has to relieve somewhere, so it goes out of this um, pressure release valve. And then if I can go under here, I'll show you where that goes. It's exactly where it goes on the outside of my RV. Okay, so just like I stated, uh, this is the fresh water and it's at one third. You can see it's at one third right here. And what we're gonna do for this demonstration purposes is I'm gonna turn on the water pump and the only the water pump will only go on when it needs to. So if it's constantly going on, then you have an issue. Okay, so like the last hose, they changed the white hose inside to this blue hose right here. So this blue hose comes down here and it goes into this T to where it goes into the water pump. If you uh, open this up, basically it's a 
drain so you can drain out water from your tank if you need to take uh drain water from your tank uh sometimes you have to you know you want to clean your tank or something but basically the water comes through your from your tank to here to this little t area right here now this right here if if this is going straight like this it's in line so the water is going to go directly through there this one right here this little area is just an extra hose i'm not sure if it's a vent line or what this is but uh it's something extra so you don't even need to worry about that so you have water coming through here and it's going to go to this first stage filter this first stage filter gets all the big contaminants um anything you know bugs or anything like that that got caught in your water tank hopefully you don't have any of that um, but then it comes up through here and it goes through your water pump. Once it goes through your water pump, it's pumping, it's making pressure, kind of like the other, you know, city water pressure, but it's making its own pressure and it's coming through here up to this T right where the water pressure was coming from the city, but there's no city water pressure. So there's most likely a check valve right here and it cruises through here and it goes into your, uh, second stage filter, which is a charcoal filter and then continues on to the regular plumbing, just like the city water connection. So the only difference between the city water connection is this is a city water connection, and this is from my tank. So city water connection goes straight through, and there's a check valve down here or here, so uh, the water only goes through here, it doesn't go through my um, pump, or I'm taking water from the tank, and it comes through here, goes up through the pump, and comes out and goes right through the same plumbing. So this plumbing from here on is the same regardless if you're taking water from your city water or from your tank. Okay, so continuing on with the main line that goes through here, what it does is it goes down here and it makes a little turn and then it goes up here. So let's go check out my RV and tear it apart a little more so you can see where this goes. So I don't know if you could see, but that other, uh, that was my pan from my shower. And here's my refrigerator right here. So it goes up underneath my refrigerator. So I'm gonna have to take this panel off. And I believe it's probably gonna go up to my ice maker and also to my water heater. But let's check it out. All right, let's see what's behind door number one. Here we go. There's my uh, red and blue pipes and they come from down there. So as if you follow them, they come over and they go to this little, uh, there's a little T branch right there and that little white tube that goes up into the abyss is my ice maker. And you can pull this little tube or pull this little thing right here to stop the water from coming through your ice maker to turn your water off. So that's a little handy trick to know. And then if you see, it continues on to the left and it's gonna be behind this drawer. So going behind the drawer, good, I don't even have to take my drawer out. It goes right up underneath there. And as you can see, that's going to be my kitchen sink. So that's uh, the first little bit of plumbing, okay? Okay, so continuing on, those are the same lines right there, and they go up to my kitchen sink, like I said. So, very, very easy. Now, if you want to look at getting to the red line, which is hot water, the hot water basically starts from here. This is the hot water heater, and you can see it branches off. First, it's fed by the cold water, and then once it becomes hot through the hot water heater, it basically um, turns red and then it goes down to this area and also goes up into my hot water for my, for my kitchen sink. And then it continues on that way to my shower and also to my bathroom. Okay, like I was saying, this is my shower pan right here. And this is the drain to my shower pan. And this basically goes out through here and then branches off to the driver's side over here and goes to my gray water tank. Now this red and blue plumbing right here goes straight through and it also tees off and goes that way. 
and it's going to feed my shower, my bathroom, hot and cold water, and also my outdoor shower. And we'll go check that out right now. Okay, so here's my outdoor shower. I showed you uh, the interior of this on the beginning of the video, but I'll show you again. This is the hot water coming in and the cold water coming in, and we'll see that on the other side. Also, I have a black water flush. This is right here, and you'll see a blue uh, tube coming down here, and that flushes out my black water tank. Not really uh, plumbing, but it's um, this water comes from a city water source. Okay, so this is the interior of my shower system. As you can see, we have the red and uh, blue pipes coming in, and then they turn into this white. And basically that's the hot and cold shower for my outdoor shower. This blue over here is what I was just talking about with the black water flush that comes into the black water flush. And then you can see the red and blue also come from this wall right here. So if we follow this wall right here, it goes up underneath my toilet. And this is going to uh, give me water for my toilet. And it's also going to give me water for this little uh, doohickey right here. Also, if you continue on underneath here, which I'm not going to take apart, but you can see my blue and red continue up here, through here, sorry, and then go up and underneath here to my sink. And then you can see my sink is right here. And that basically concludes all the water for the entire system on my RV. If you have any questions, please comment and... Uh, Tell me what you found on your RV and hope you had a good one. Join our journey. We know you have questions and comments. The Adventure Travelers.